So what we're what we're doing before we leave for the day is just I've saved loads of places that I want to go to. I mean, look at these pancakes on Instagram. So you can just save posts. Um, of places you want to go this is meant to be amazing and then what we do is we look it up on Alan's app which is called here now here maps. here maps sorry guys it's called here maps and basically when you've got Wi-Fi or internet you can search all of these places save them on your map and then when you have offline um, basically you can find all of the maps and access all of the information offline to know where you're going can you just tap your screen uh, this is really good because we have um, free like data all over Europe, but obviously we're in USA now, so we can't use our phones, we'd get charged a lot. This is just a really great app so that we can save where we're going, know where we're going, and we always have a map available even when we don't have internet. So I would really recommend doing that. Yeah. Okay, the next one is good for the study. And this is like notebooks and stuff. I can make it a notebook. Oh, it is cold, Alan. <laughs> We are in New York City, I couldn't be happier. If you've watched my other travel vlogs from when we were here in 2015, you'll know I love this city. Who doesn't love New York City? So we're staying at the Hoxton in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. We got an amazing deal, it's such a cool hotel. Normally we always stay in Airbnbs and we're definitely budget travelers, but seeing as it's Christmas, we've treated ourselves, and like I said, we got a great deal. The Hoxton in Williamsburg, Brooklyn only opened recently, and if you booked to stay here within the first six months of opening it was half price so we got a fantastic deal and we've never really explored Brooklyn that much we've always stayed in Manhattan so this is really fun we're spending our first day here today exploring Williamsburg we're gonna go look at the shops we're gonna grab some bagels and genuinely just soak in the streets it's so cool heard about this place online, The Heatonist. It's a shop and they just sell hot sauce. I feel like Alan could be drawn in. The problem is I probably wouldn't, how big is it? Oh so yeah, it if it's yeah. over 100 mil you won't be able to take yeah. it. We're traveling with only hand luggage, so that's one thing to consider. Just walking around these streets in, in Brooklyn, it's very photogenic. It's got a, a really nice calm vibe to it as well. It's Monday morning, it's actually Christmas Eve and there's not many people out and about. We've reached Bagel Smith. These are meant to be some of the best bagels in Brooklyn. Wow, these are all their homemade cream cheeses. There's like bacon, blueberry, walnut, sun-dried tomato. So many options. So we've come into a place called the Mini Mall. It's got like a Pac-Man, a little photo booth, and then other shops down here. We just went in this place, which is a Vogue Vintage. They have really great vintage clothing in there, but it's very expensive, so very refined, very high priced. But if you like it where people source clothes for you rather than you shifting through everything, like some things, some things are okay. Some things are quite good in there. Leading on from that mini mall is this place, Spoonbill and Sugartown Books. It's a really cool bookshop in there. They've got magazines, loads of niche magazines, fashion magazines, really cool books. Really liking Williamsburg. I thought I would, but being here definitely doesn't disappoint. Oh, Alan, look, there's Catbird. I want to go in there and look at their jewelry. It's quite pricey, but I've always wanted to go and look. So yeah, let's go look. Getting some nice Wes Anderson vibes in Williamsburg today. Look how symmetrical these two buildings are. Well, the whole building. And then with the doors. So we're just on Berry and Sixth, and there's a Lalabo store here, which is one of my favorite perfume houses. Definitely recommend going in there. But something I realised about Williamsburg is there's really great shops here and it's just got a really nice, very spaced out vibe to it. I mean, look how hugely wide these streets are. 
So we're back on Bedford Avenue to head into Joe's Pizza for a slice for lunch. It's like the perfect lunch. Slice of pizza and then we're gonna head and get Magnolia's bakery cupcake and banana pudding later on. This pizza's meant to be really, really good. Okay, so each slice is three dollars. Alan's putting his chili on it. Looks good, we'll have to do a taste test. Okay, let's see how this pizza is. It's warm. The guys in there are really nice. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love it. Yeah. It's got a crispy base. Tastes really good. We're on 8th Avenue, straight down there, if you guys can see that bridge, is the High Line. Ellen and I did that last time we were here. I really, really recommend doing that. It's really cool. It's basically an old railway, um, like a rail track, and it's been refurbished into like a High Line, which has like got flowers and seating. It's here, so you can probably just go straight down here to find some steps to go up it. Um, that's really good, definitely recommend that. And then this is all the meatpacking district. You zoom out, you guys, oops, zooming way too in on those people. If I zoom out, you guys can see it a bit better. So, yeah, meatpacking district. A lot of plastic here that needs must. Come on, Magnolias, what's up with the plastic? I know, right? Like plastic spoon plastic. She ain't happy. And this is your spoon, Alan. And that's mine. Oh, this is what we've been waiting for. Yeah, I'm Three so years. excited. Okay, guys. I feel like this is very close. Do you want me to step back? Maybe. So we've been waiting, yeah, three years for this. I have to go back for the cake. It was like, really funny when we were in there because I was like, I don't know what to get. Do I get banana pudding? Do I get the Snickerbocker ice box? Do I get a cake? And then Alan said really loudly, we can come back. You don't have to get it all now. And then I'm pretty sure this woman turned around looking at us thinking that he was talking to the three-year-old. But it's just mm. me. I'm like a dessert lover. Okay, into the good stuff. Come on, zoom in, Alan. Oh. It's like ice cream. It is, it's amazing. Okay, so this is banana pudding. It's like a banana flavored vanilla mousse with banana in it. And then also like a sponge. It's so good. Okay, let me try it and see. Is it if as it's good as, as you remember? Good as you remember. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It is. This is where we're sitting, in case you guys didn't see. It's so nice. It's on Bleecker Street. Good shops here too. So here's the outside of Magnolia Bakery. I can't pan down too much, guys, just because there's so many people around here. But it's on Bleecker Street and 11th, West 11. So I think one of the reasons why I really love Manhattan is because every street looks like a film set. It kind of just feels like you're in like a constant film, or like a, like a fairy tale. It's amazing. And I know lots of people say that about London, and I definitely see streets in London that do look like film sets, but because I live there, um, it's my reality. And I think that definitely when traveling, you see it from a perspective where it's very glossed over, and I definitely think I have that with New York and a lot of other places. So do you think it'd be interesting to see living here and see if you contain that magic? I do feel that now with London, but I also feel the reality of London. So it is an interesting concept. So we're on 4th and Perry Street and it's starting to get really festive. I think this is definitely where people live, which is insane. It's so beautiful. I kept, keep telling Alan to pinch me because I can't believe we're here. We found the festivities. We're in Washington Square Park. And here's the famous archway. Beautiful Christmas tree. De straight down there is Fifth Avenue. We're gonna head down there later. But this park is actually like a very, very busy place. Often they have like music and people dancing and stuff around here. Um, you get such an amazing view of Freedom Tower down there. I remember I took a really cool picture of Alan. Um, I don't know if it was 2014 or 15 when we were here. Because um, we came both years, but I only vlogged one of those years. So 
I got a great picture of him down there, it's such a nice view. And then like down that way people are playing chess with each other, it's just a really cool little park, really nice vibe. So it's Christmas day and Jack's wife Frida on Lafayette Street, which is just here, is open, which is amazing. Me and Alec have gone for the green shakshuka, which we've had before, and it is delicious. Mine looks like it's smiling, which is making me very happy. So now we're gonna dig in and enjoy our Christmas breakfast. Guys, this is probably the best day to be in New York. It's empty, we're on um, Lafayette Street, just outside Jack's wife Frida. There is like, no one here. Jack's wife Frida was open, which is amazing. Um, and it was getting quite busy in there. Alan, do you wanna say Merry Christmas to everyone? Merry Christmas. <laughs> from, the, from the Grinch. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Wow, we've gotten a good sight. We've made our way across to um, kind of like Midtown at the moment, I think. But we're on Lexington and 51st Street on the east side and we've caught the most amazing view of the Chrysler Building. The Chrysler Building is one of mine and Alan's favorite uh, New York landmi uh, landmarks. We found the bagel stop we're going to, Essa Bagel, and there is a very long queue, but hopefully it'll be worth it. This place had over a thousand reviews at like a 4.5 on Google, so I'm guessing it's pretty popular. Oh, look at that, that's like bagel porn. We've made it to Central Park, but guys, we found all of the people of Manhattan. It is heaving. I mean, especially because we're really close to the rice, rice? Ice, <laughs> ice rink. <laughs> I blended them together. The ice rink. So everyone's come ice skating, but you know what? We found a quiet bench. Got a great little view over here. Nice view here of some trees. And there's loads of Christmas songs, so we are happy. Alan, how would you rate your bagel compared to yesterday's bagel? Good. Is it really good? Which one do you prefer, yesterday or today? Yesterday. Yesterday? Interesting. Guys, New York is crazy. This morning we saw no one and we were like, oh, this is so good, no one's out. But since we came down to like Fifth Avenue and Central Park, it's just been getting crazier and crazier. We just walked from like Central Park to where Saks is and opposite Saks, Fifth Avenue with the department store is um, the Rockefeller Center. So we were thinking like, okay, we'll just go by and like see the Rockefeller, see the big famous Christmas tree because we've not seen it yet. And it was so busy. There's like loads of police out with whistles monitoring traffic. They've got metal gates and like bars the whole way down the street monitoring like crowds, trying to make sure people don't go into the road. It's crazy. What do you think, Alan? Like, honestly, we were just walking in just sandwiched in the people. It's so, so busy. So I think we're gonna head back onto Madison Avenue, which is just the next um, street along. Yep. It was a lot more quiet on Madison than Fifth. And like, there's quite a few shops open. Saks is closed, but Bloomingdale's is open. No, Bloomingdale's wasn't open. Was it not? No. Where was it? No, um, Bergdorf Goodman is open. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry, not Bloomingdale's. Yeah. Bergdorf's is open. Cool, Crazy. let's go. Something I've been working on with my photography lately is really exploring reflections. And I just love how without, like throughout this glass building, you can see the reflection of the Chrysler. It looks like there's two. And if you get it at the right angle, you can get some pretty cool pictures. So obviously like if you just stood straight on here, you won't see it as much, but just coming round, you get a lot of, a lot of good options. So we've come to Serendipity for some frozen hot chocolate, which they are famous for here. And um, the decal here is really out there and extra. I'm gonna try and show you guys, but it's really busy in here. It's Christmas. It's usually busy in here though, but extra busy today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've just got our bagels from Bagel Smith. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, Bagel Smith in Williamsburg again. I have to say, guys, I've noticed a huge price difference between even like Williamsburg and Manhattan. So Brooklyn versus Manhattan, huge price difference. We got two bagels today. It was eleven dollars. But yesterday, when we were in the Essa Bagel place, we got three bagels for twenty-eight dollars. Right? Twenty-six or twenty-seven. 20, yeah. Twenty-six or twenty-seven dollars. So if you think for just an extra bagel that's like double nearly so definitely more affordable in Brooklyn also things like water here we've managed to find bottled water for like 40 cent 
in Manhattan yesterday we went to so many different shops and water in the same size bottle was selling for like two dollars and upwards we even found one place where it was five dollars it was like 480 for a litre of water which is crazy so huge price difference definitely noticed and we're loving our time in Brooklyn it's just like a peaceful change from when you're in the city anyway now we're gonna eat our warm bagels and then today we're heading off to do a walking tour um, around Brooklyn Heights Dumbo and Brooklyn Bridge so that's really exciting should we eat our bagels yeah So we're currently going over Brooklyn Bridge. It's very, very loud. This is the first time we've done this, so it's really cool. We're just walking over this walkway. You can see the arches in front. Guys, this is a really cool experience. Definitely recommend this if you're in Manhattan. Oh my gosh, look at this view. It's probably going to be windy because we're by the Hudson, but look at that. Wow. Okay, so the tour finished in Dumbo with seriously amazing views. I mean, just look at Freedom Tower right there. Now Ellen and I are in a very long queue again. We just seem to be queuing a lot for Juliana's Pizza. Now something to bear in mind is that Juliana's is tiny, but right next door is Grimaldi's. Grimaldi's Pizza is very famous. However, Grimaldi, who made the pizza, sold Grimaldi's years and years ago, and then they basically ruined the pizza. We've been told it's not very good pizza, it's overhyped. So Grimaldi, the original, moved into his original spot, which is right next door, opened up a place called Giuliana's which is named after his mum and it's the original amazing Grimaldi's homemade pizza uh, coal fired it's meant to be really really good so I'm really excited to try it <laughs> Our pizza's arrived, looks and smells amazing. Okay, we are out of Juliana's, verdict is in. Definitely prefer it over Joe's Pizza. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, so did Alan. So I think it's personally worth the hype, but I've not tried all of the pizza in New York, so who knows. And just like that, we're on the Upper West Side. We got a metro or subway, so I used to be in Europe. We got a subway to 72nd Street. And now we are on our way to Levain Bakery, which do the best cookies. Now I know I always say things are so good, but guys, I think about these cookies all the time. Guys, we're in the shop. If you could smell it. I need to find my one first. Is that yours? Okay, this one's mine. Okay, I've got clean hands because I've had gloves on. Basically, this is the chocolate, dark chocolate peanut butter chip. And instead of chocolate chips, it's like peanut butter formed into a chip. Let's see if I break it. Oh, it's gonna break over here, okay. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Sometimes they're gooey, this one's not so gooey, but I bet it's still amazing. Oh my God, seriously, look. I feel like there are some seriously Instagrammable moments where these are broken perfectly. <laughs> Of course, I can't do that. Okay, are we ready for the taste test? See if it's as good as I remember. Yeah, go on. Good. Fine. Okay, it's Thursday morning. I'm starting to majorly lose track of the days. Are you, Alan? Mm -hmm. But we're hanging out in Williamsburg this morning. We're going for brunch at a place called Sunday in Brooklyn. It's meant to be a great brunch spot, so I'm very excited about that. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. It's only just about starting to liven up. We've been walking down With Street um, for maybe just under 10 minutes because that's where our hotel is on and that's also the street that Brooklyn on a Sunday or Sunday in Brooklyn is on, which is very handy. Wow, look at this old With diner. I wonder if it's With or White. So we've made it to Sunday in Brooklyn. It's really, really nice and like cozy vibes in here. 
and food looks so good. Really good for brunch. So it comes highly recommended online and also Tara from Talma has recommended it for us as well. So it's come highly recommended. Really excited to, to eat here. Also, I love these plates. I was just saying to Alan, we only have four plates, but we should invest in some like really nice plates like this. Wow, this looks so good. I got the cheddar scramble with the sausage. We also got the malt hazelnut pancakes to share. So we got two of them. Then Alan got a chorizo with fried egg thing. It looks so good. Yeah, I'm so excited. So we've come to Domino Park, which is just along the waterfront in Williamsburg. There are seriously amazing views here. Straight in front of me, if I zoom in, you can see the Statue of Liberty there. And then if we go this way, you can just about see the Chrysler building. And then if I zoom out, we've got Williamsburg Bridge, Manhattan Bridge and Brooklyn Bridge, as well as Freedom Tower. And if I zoom in here, you can see the Statue of Liberty right down the end. So you can pretty much see everything from Domino Park. Really great views. First brunch we've come into a secondhand store called Buffalo. It's really really good in here. I think decent prices as well depending on what you're getting. I found this which is really hard to show you guys. Maybe I'll try to show you later. So I found this massive like shirt jacket. It's like a wool, $17. It's got these nice pockets here. I really like it. Oh, it's a bit bright there. This is better. I think it even goes with like my cos dress that I'm wearing today. If I turn up the lighting for you guys, you can kind of see I've got thick socks on with my boots. Alan, I'm thinking this shirt is good, this like jacket. What do you think? Should we get it? It's really cool. Do you want to try it on as well? Yeah, it's always good. It's always good when we can share. So we've made our way into Greenwich Village. It's a really nice day. We're feeling very hot in our puffer coats. And the reason that we've come is for this shop, Goods for the Study. I want to get a really nice notebook because I don't have one at the moment. Make some notes on it, it'll be really handy. Just for planning out YouTube videos 2019 as well. This is meant to be a great stationery store. And we've noticed two shops down is a Goodwill. So we're definitely going to pop in there. They're meant to have really good like thrift, secondhand clothing options. And I'm really happy with the coat I picked up earlier today. So feeling pretty good about today's shopping. Okay, next stop on our little outing today is Big Gay Ice Cream. I think that being in our big coats has led us to ice cream eating in December. But of course, Big Gay Ice Cream is a must. It's super sunny over there. And so it's looking pretty, pretty bright, but it looks really nice. And here's Big Gay Ice Cream. Last time Anne came here, there was a queue out the door. So thankfully we finally have something which we don't have to queue for an hour for. It's all about that salty pimp. Right guys, sorry I didn't end up vlogging that much after our ice cream. We kind of just spent like the last few days just walking around which has been so nice and I don't know how this vlog is going to turn out. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it though. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. We're now back in um, Williamsburg, Brooklyn and currently in a park opposite like down the street from where our hotel is just to get one last view of the amazing skyline that we get to see whilst we're in Brooklyn of Manhattan. For dinner we went to Unami Burger to try the Impossible Burger which is like a vegetarian burger and it was really really nice so I would recommend that. Everywhere that we visited will be in the description box below so if you want to make notes for your own trip to New York or Brooklyn that will all be there for you guys and I think I'm gonna wrap it up here and leave you with this view that me and Alan are now gonna enjoy for the last time for who knows how long and I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>